This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 231. How to Stay Fit for Life, the official top 10 countdown, part one, by Ben Greenfield of bengreenfieldfitness.com. And I'm your host, Dr. Neil Malik. Hey, it's another Monday episode of Optimal Health Daily. If you're new here, this is the podcast where I read to you from some of the best health and fitness blogs out there. And that, of course, includes a regular contributor, Ben Greenfield, who I'm reading both today and tomorrow. He broke up this article into two parts, so I'll read part one today and then the rest tomorrow. Before I jump in, we have a new sponsor to whom we're really grateful, Health IQ. Health IQ uses science and data to secure special rates on life insurance for health conscious people like you. You can learn more and get a free quote at healthiq.com slash daily. Again, that's healthiq.com slash daily. Before I begin reading from Ben's amazing post, I wanna share with you a quick story. When I first read through this post, it reminded me of a time in my previous life when I was a health educator for a large HMO organization. I would conduct these group weight management classes. And one of the topics we would always discuss was the value of exercise. At one point when I was talking about the benefits of exercise, an older gentleman in the back raised his hand and said, I'd like to see you when you get old. It's easy for you to exercise now when you're young and healthy and have the time, but I can't wait to see what you look like when you get older like me. I would try not to react too much to these kinds of outbursts. Believe it or not, these kinds of outbursts, these kinds of challenges happen more often than you think. So I would do my best to stay stone-faced and not completely overreact to these kinds of challenges. My response was something to the effect of, exercise is a priority for me, and so I make sure I make the time for it, otherwise I go completely insane without it. And so I said, by discussing this topic, I'm hoping that it becomes more of a priority for you all as well, if it's not already. He quieted down after that, which was, of course, a relief for me. But only if I had this official top 10 countdown that I'm about to read to you today, I could have shared this with him, and hopefully, again, convinced him to make exercise a priority for him as well. So with that, let's hear part one of Ben's post and start optimizing your life. How to Stay Fit for Life, the official top 10 countdown, part one by Ben Greenfield of bengreenfieldfitness.com. There are a handful of very significant tricks that I utilize on a daily and weekly basis to stay trim and fit for life. Some of these techniques are motivational, some logistical, and some simply fun but I don't see any reason to selfishly keep the top 10 techniques to myself. So, without further ado, here is part one of the top 10 ways to stay fit for life. Number 10, flexibility. No, I'm not talking about turning yourself into a hyper-flexible rubber gumby toy. Instead, I'm talking about flexibility in your fitness routine. If you wanna be fit for life, your worst enemy is an all-or-nothing approach that requires you to stick to a rigid workout or fitness plan. Are the kids sick and keeping you from leaving for the gym? Your weight training routine may need to be adapted to be a simple body weight and elastic band routine. Is there a snowstorm rolling in on the day you have a long run planned? Grab the jump rope or stationary bike and head into the garage. Long meeting keeping you late at work? That 50-minute aerobic session may need to be sacrificed for 12 minutes of high-intensity intervals. You get the idea. Flexibility is crucial to be fit for life. Number nine. Muscle is youth. Muscle is youth, and you must engage in some form of resistance training if you want to be truly fit. The hormonal and metabolic response to weight training is far different than what you get from cardio, and lean muscle fibers are a perfect spark for your metabolism and your figure. But don't waste your time with bicep curls and crunches. Use full body moves that incorporate multiple joints. For example, try three of my top full body moves, swings, deadlifts, and Turkish get-ups. Exercises like these should be the core of your resistance training program. Number eight, HIIT, or high-intensity interval training. There is no denying the superior cardiovascular adaptations and time efficiency of this form of training. My own personal rule is that each week, I must do at least one HIIT session in the pool, on the bicycle, and during a run. Depending on the time of year and the structure of my training program, The sessions may be long or pleasantly short, but they always happen. If your cardio is 100% conversational, then you're leaving lots of fitness on the table. 
Number seven, LSD. Yes, LSD is a drug, but it's also a form of exercise. LSD is short for long, slow distance. Specifically, those long, slow, fat-burning aerobic workouts I just finished abusing. But there is a place for LSD, and I recommend their use at two points in your fitness program. One, when you wake up in the morning in a fasted state, a 20 to 60 minute LSD session like walking, yoga, easy bicycling, etc., can be very effective for initiating the fat burning process. And two, once per week, a big weapon in your fat decimating toolbox can be an unfed LSD session, such as a two hour hike on a Sunday afternoon with water only. So while LSD should form the minority of your fitness program, it can be very helpful for fat loss when used strategically. Number six, trouble spots. After helping literally thousands of people lose weight, achieve high performance, and reinvent their bodies, I've discovered that nearly every human being on the planet consistently have easily identifiable weak links. If these trouble spots are not addressed, folks are almost always consistently sidelined by injuries, never achieve the performance or look they desire, or both. What are these trouble spots? There are four of them. One, tight hip flexors. Two, a weak butt. Three, weak rotator cuffs. And four, overall muscle tension. What are the solutions? For tight hip flexors, stretch them, preferably two to three times per day, and even more if you have a seated job. For a weak butt, do hip extension and hip external rotation exercises. For weak rotator cuffs, start with easy exercises like four sets of 25 internal and external rotations two to three times per week, but progress as quickly as possible to tougher exercises. For example, I keep my rotator cuffs strong by setting a rule that I must do at least 50 pull-ups a week. Doesn't matter when, as long as they get done. For overall muscle tension, use a foam roller regularly and get a full body massage at least once a month if you can afford it. All right, that wraps up part one of the top 10 ways to stay fit for life. Hear part two on tomorrow's show. You just listened to the post titled How to Stay Fit for Life, the official top 10 countdown, part one by Ben Greenfield of bengreenfieldfitness.com. And like I said, I'll read the next part tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, Ben has a bunch of videos that show some of the exercises that he mentioned in the article. And thank you again to Health IQ for sponsoring this episode. If you're listening to this, you're probably more health conscious than the average person. And if that's the case, you deserve lower rates on life insurance. Health IQ uses science and data to secure special rates on life insurance for health conscious people like runners, strength trainers, cyclists, and more, even vegans. We're all about the science here and Health IQ researches the numbers. They found that if you frequently exercise with intensity, on average, you have a 22% lower cancer risk a 56% lower heart disease risk, and up to 34% lower risk of early death. But even though you might be part of this group, it's common for life insurance companies to penalize you for your family history, pre-existing conditions, and BMI. Yet, you don't get rewarded for being active. That's where Health IQ comes in. They reward you with special rates on life insurance for being health conscious. You can learn more and get a free quote using our link, healthiq.com slash daily. That's healthiq.com slash daily. Now, I also wanted to make a comment on one of Ben Greenfield's suggestions with regards to doing cardio in a fasted state. I've actually mentioned this in previous podcasts, but just to be clear, that's something I don't recommend for most lay people, meaning those that are just beginning an exercise routine. For someone like Ben, on the other hand, who's highly fit and who knows his body really, really well and his limits really well, it's acceptable for him to be active in a fasted state. But for the general population, it's not something I recommend because their blood sugar may start to drop to a level that can be actually dangerous. And I especially wouldn't recommend this for someone with prediabetes or definitely diagnosed diabetes. Having blood sugar that's too low, which can definitely happen if you're working out in a fasted state, is actually very, very dangerous. It's more dangerous than having high blood sugar. And so again, that's why I would only recommend exercising in a fasted state, really for elite athletes like Ben. Okay, that's it for the Monday episode. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Monday and I'll see you tomorrow where we'll hear more of Ben's countdown and where your optimal life awaits. 
Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.